with us right now, Tom Hannon. Tom, you are a franchising consultant, uh, serial entrepreneur. You've uh, had multiple successful companies in the past. Uh, now you help a lot of other good people uh, kind of get get their next uh, chapter started in business ownership uh, through franchise model. But Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Your website, by the way, franchisingconnection.com. Love talking franchises, Tom. This is this can be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Josh. I'm really excited to be here and talk to you, talk to you and talk to your audience about franchising and business ownership. Yeah, sounds great. All right, so Tom, uh, we were just we, just chit chatting before we started. We pushed uh, record, uh, and uh, you were telling me uh, w- why not start with an, a really interesting story. Uh, you had a near death experience. That yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, um, so back in I guess this was several years ago. Uh, we were training. We decided my wife and I decided to train for a, a triathlon. Yeah. And we thought it would be this great way to lose weight because we were trying to chase around three-year-old grandchildren and we weren't having any success. We had all this, you know, we, we had gained a lot of weight. So we thought this was a great way for us to lose weight. So when we first started training, I had realized I didn't know how to swim. Um, so I didn't really know what a triathlon was. We all saw them on Wide World of Sports, right, when they're, they're crawling across the finish line. But no one <laughs> says that you've got to swim during the triathlon. So uh, I had to um, embrace my fear of swimming. And, uh, and it, we were two months away from the event. And, uh, it, and, I, go, and I go ahead and, uh, and get into the pool for the first time. So I start swimming in the YMCA. And the um, aquatic director, Mel Dreyer, takes me out of the pool. She said, you can't swim. You don't know how to swim. You know, you're, you're endangering at the whole pool because we're so focused on you. So I, I, I begged and pleaded with her to teach me how to swim, which she wouldn't do. Um, so she eventually hooked me up with somebody and then I had to learn how to swim. And my first triathlon was awful. Anyway, I had the doggy paddle and against the waves and all that stuff. But I actually, you know, took on my fear and learned how to swim. So Mel Dyer, who took me out of the pool, eventually becomes my swim coach. Yeah. And, you know, and then I got really into triathlon. I'm training like crazy. I'm, I want to go to Kona. Um, and I want to, I want to, I, I, I'm watching videos of Kona. I'm driving my wife crazy watching all these videos. And, and I'm, I'm talking, I'm four years into training. And then in the pool, uh, train, you know, doing my master swim class, my whole right side of my body went numb. And oh I, the water got cold. And I, and I couldn't figure out why, because, you know, you sweat when you swim. You don't realize that until yeah. you do it a lot. So I couldn't figure out what was happening. And, and Mel takes me out of the pool and she says, uh, you know, and then she did the touch your nose thing. And, it, and I went over here and she said, you're having a stroke. Um, and I'm thinking I'm 49 years old. I am ripped. I'm 150 pounds. I am. I mean, you like I had muscles coming out everywhere. And uh, right. Turns out I had a vertebral artery dissection in the pool, which is the artery that runs right up the back oh, of your gosh, neck. Oh gosh, yeah. And I had uh, it, it caused five uh, five mini strokes. Um, Oof. And be, but because she recognized it right away, uh, it, it saved my life. If I had had that at home, and I was you know like because you can have them at any time. You know, you can have them from a chiropractic appointment, from just just whipping your neck around. There's mm-hmm. lots of things that can cause it. And they have no idea what actually caused it. It just happened while I was in the pool. Um, she, her fast action was the, was the reason why I have full, I had a full recovery. Oh my um, gosh. Yeah, if I hadn't known her, uh, God, it, God knows what, where I could have been and what could have happened. Now, you said that there, there, there's um, some intersection between that experience and business, right? Yeah. So at the time, I had this really cool delivery business. So what we did was we delivered free magazines, brochures, and, and those type of things. And, and we were focused on Cape Cod, and it was a great environment for us uh, because we had so many, um, there's so many tourist attractions. And, and there was a big company that had come in here and started buying up all the local guys. But it was a real uh, b- good good thing for me because all the local companies didn't want to do business with them. And my business grew dramatically. So I had this delivery, advertising, publishing business that I was running. And it was going great 
Uh, and then unfortunately, because of the accident, I was really, I had to, I had to, I had to sell it. Mm. So uh, I wasn't able to really keep doing the things I was, yeah. I, I was accustomed to be doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, it kind so of, yeah. So. And I was going to ask you, you know, what, br- what brought you into consulting uh, in, in regards to franchise? Uh, Cause again, you've, I know you've run several successful companies in your life. Right. Yeah. So what I love about the franchising model is I, I started my first business when I was 20 years old. Hmm. I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't even know what I didn't know. Uh, and what I love about the franchising model is it avoids all those steps for, for somebody. So somebody doesn't have that massive learning curve to get into business for themselves. The franchises, they vetted it. You have a name from day one. Uh, you know who, who your vendors are you know price points, and you're also in business with hundreds, if not thousands of other people uh, versus being in business for yourself, by yourself. Mm-hmm. It's so, I mean, being independent is great if you're, an, uh, if you're a real serious entrepreneur, uh, but if you're somebody who, who needs some guidance along the way, or even if you're looking for, let's say you have an existing business uh, and you want to add on to your existing business and you want, some, some, you want to spur off some, thing, some opportunities, a franchise is a great way to do it because of, it, you've reduced the learning curve throughout the process. Yeah. Um, so where are we at with uh, franchises in 2021 here? Um, has the opportunity increased, decreased, shifted? In which ways has it shifted? You know, and again, thinking particularly, you know, of the past 12 months or so. Right. Right now it's booming. Uh, there's uh, w- the company that I, I work with. Uh, mm-hmm. We have set uh, records the last three months for placements. Wow. Yeah, there's, uh, I think what's happened is so many people, COVID has changed everything as we know, yeah. right? Uh, and even though that everything is reduced right now, it's still changed the way that people want to work. Um, and they've realized um, they, there's just a lot of things with culture. They want to create a different culture for themselves, a different lifestyle. And they're looking at business ownership as that opportunity to give them that different lifestyle. Yeah. Um, so I- explain when you work with people, like what do you do? What's the process of, are you primarily working with people that have no business experience or do they have some business? Who do you, who do you typically work with and what is the process? Well, um, there is no typical. So they, it could be somebody coming from a corporate environment um, there's a, the, the highest percentage of people that buy tend to be in the, from the corporate environment. Mm. But what I really love about what I do is the process. So, you know, think of yourself as, as going in with no preconceived notion of somebody, somebody sitting down with you and getting to know you and getting to understand fully the types of things you like, the types of things you don't like, your skill set, what your future dreams are, what your vision is for your life. And being able to take that and then going out and taking these franchise business models and then coming to you with models that fit the exact lifestyle that you want. That's what I love about this because that's what we do. Um, we, it's reverse. A lot of times when people can come to me, they say they don't know where to start um, and they, they don't really know where to start or what the right fit is. And we take that out of the equation by being able to really analyze them and then present them with businesses that will fit them. Yeah. And, and so what businesses do you see uh, really thriving right now? Well, home services are, are, are really taking off right now. Yep. Uh, they're, they're big. I mean, fitness is coming back a little bit, but it's really home fit, home services are the big businesses mm-hmm. uh, where you can come to somebody's home and you can sell them blinds, or you can sell them flooring, or you can sell them a variety of services. These are those are really big businesses that are doing well right now. Yeah, excellent. So, um, in terms of like investment for like a home services business, or you know, what what does it look like to get started in that? In terms of investment and you know schedule and you know how much effort and work and 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 you know and and I would imagine too uh, that you know most of the work involved is just going to be in establishing and networking and sales and kind of growing the book of business, right. Yeah. So the number one thing a franchise is looking for, they're looking for somebody who can do that. They're looking for somebody who can sell, uh, mm-hmm. who understands business development. I was talking to this uh, uh, to, to a candidate uh, just yesterday. 
not yesterday, I'm sorry, uh, Friday. And we were talking about his skill set and how great his skill set is for what a franchise is looking for. They're looking for somebody that can build teams. They're looking for people that can sell. They're looking for people that can do business development. And that's really a huge piece that somebody needs if they're going to be successful um, in franchising. You don't, need a, you don't need to be a plumber or you don't need to be a cook or you don't need to have that or you don't, they don't want the technician. Yeah. They want somebody that, that really under, uh, loves business, you know, and that wants to build a business team. Um, and, it, and in terms of investment, I mean, that's the thing that really um, trips people up. They yeah. think they need so much money to, be, to, to start a franchise and you don't. Uh, you can do some, some franchises you can get into for under $50,000 mm -hmm. um, total. Uh, others are much more, but it really depends on what style of business and what type of business you want and the future that you see for yourself. Um, you know, that's, that's really where it's, where it's at. But, you know, um, no matter what your financial situation is, I'm almost, unless you have no money, of course, um, I'm almost assured that, uh, that you can, that we could find a franchise for you. Yeah. And then, um, you know, in, in the case of franchising, financing is pretty easy compared, I would say easier, uh, compared to, uh, if you just want to start a restaurant from scratch, for example. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. That, and that's something maybe you get into now, but boy, a year ago, no. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, it, it's they, We have uh, companies that, that you, can, you can lend right from your 401k. So let's say you have a, a 401k, um, you can lend directly from there. SBAs are 50-50. Uh, it all depends. They have a document. It's called the FDD. It's this massive document uh, and, it, and it depends. Every franchise is different on that part of it. And some franchises actually uh, allow you to, um, they, they actually fund some of the transaction as well. So there's yeah. a lot of different ways you can go about it. Um, but one cool thing is, is it's all vetted for you. Um, so a bank can look at 20 other franchises, 30 other, 50 other. Yeah, things. right, right. You know, a franchise uh, loan proposal right or like that that's just going to be so much more fleshed out than someone like well i've got this idea i don't know we we think it's going to work whereas a franchise says hey we've already done this like 50 times uh, yeah i mean I, when i sold one of my businesses they had an sba loan and i can't tell you how many documents i had to give that company I, oh gosh yeah I, I i mean hundreds of documents and it was something all the time and we need this and we need that. And can your bookkeeper do this? Can your CPA do this? And, uh, and I can't, every day there was a new request of 10 different documents. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a big difference between doing, you know, doing this type of a deal versus buying an independent business through an SBA loan. Yeah, excellent. Um, what, um, when, when you're sitting down with someone, what questions do you normally ask them if they're like, I don't know, Tom, I'm thinking, uh, you know, I was thinking maybe I could, uh, you know, exit my job at some point and start a business. Like what kind of questions would you ask them? For me, the first question is I ask them is about vision. What, what type of lifestyle do they, do they want? What, what are they envisioning for themselves? Because believe it or not, uh, if you call me and we talk about what your future is, there's a 50, 50 chance, whether we're going to move forward or not, mm -hmm. just because of maybe business ownership isn't for you. Um, and I like to really dive into that part of it. What is, what's your vision for yourself? What type of lifestyle that, that, you, that, that you want? And then, you know, then you get into the more direct questions about geography and about the types of work you've done and what you're going to be comfortable with. Because I think, like, ultimately, I'm looking for my candidates to be happy with the choice that they make for themselves. And the one way to do that is to, is to really make sure that you understand what makes them tick. Um, and I think that the big, you know, if I was to ask you what your vision is for, for the future, I bet, you, you know, you would have, you would have that answer pretty quick. Yeah, I, I probably, you know, want some more time freedom, you know, certainly, uh, you know, the allure of, you know, 
eventually working less and less and having more of that income be passive would, I think, be the dream. How how possible is that with um, some of the franchises that, that you're familiar with? Oh, yeah. You can build an empire with franchises, uh, but you need to start with one. Some of the mistake yeah. people make is they, they'll, they'll, they'll buy a territory and they'll get several franchises before they do before they ever did one. So I think the, the smartest thing that somebody can do is buy you know, one, maybe two at most franchises and really get to learn the system. You think about it, like a franchise has done a lot of that for you, but you still have to go through the process of, of the business. And you need to be an apprentice inside your own business for a little while and really understand what makes it work. And then you know, my biggest successes in life have always come when I've really figured something out and then I learned how to maximize it. And I think the franchising is no different. You get into, uh, you get it, you buy a restaurant or you buy, you know, a service company in a certain geographic area and then you get the next one and the next one. You keep growing your reach uh, throughout time because you really understand the business. It becomes very plug and play for you. Uh, though it, but there's tremendous opportunities for that. And, you know, and they give you the playbook and some of these franchises will actually train your management staff and they offer, con you know, ongoing support. So you can really build, if it's what you desire, an, uh, a small empire under yourself of franchise opportunities. Yeah, excellent. All right. So your website, franchisingconnection.com. And Tom, um, someone who's been listening to us and they're like, wow, what if? <laughs> uh, you know, if they go to your website, franchisingconnection.com, uh, what should they click on? What should they do? Like, wh what's the, what's, what are the first steps? Well, the first step is I, you know, we love to have a 15 minute conversation uh, with, with the client, but the first step should be to do an assessment. So on the website, we have a free assessment. Um, and I think that the biggest goal for anyone is to really know themselves. So if they take that assessment, it's 100% free. Uh, wow. and, it, yep. and it it drives right into who they are. Uh, what, what type of businesses will work for them? Are they a single unit? Are they a multi-unit type of owner? What type of sales um, acumen do they have? What type of business development? It really digs down into the person. Um, and, and it gives them a great nine page report. It gives them a, um, a, a comparable a big, you know, you might be able to be prepared, uh, compared to Steve Jobs, who knows? Um, so it's really cool. It, it's a nine page uh, report. It's hundred percent free, whether you decide to move forward us, us or not, but it can really drill down and help you uh, understand yourself. And I think that's the best place to start. Um, yeah. And then, and then once you once you review that, if you want to take the next step, I'll be happy to go over the report with with anybody who fills it out. Yeah, and then once you have the assessment, then you can start looking at possible matches and and see you know how that might go. Then I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, the, our step from there is we do a, a a quick you know a quick call, a get to know you call. I explain our service, uh, which is 100% free, by the way. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's something that uh, a lot of people ask us during our meetings. You work our for service, free. <laughs> it's free. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Book the call. It's free. And then uh, and then if we decide to move forward, uh, I'll send you a questionnaire. We'll do an hour and a half consulting. Maybe you know, might be a little bit more, a little bit less. And then uh, I build a um, I build a, a candidate model for you. And then we're showing you franchises. So start to finish. If it's if you're really interested and this is something you want to do, uh, we can have you in um, in discovery days inside of six to eight weeks. Very, very cool. Tom Hannon, again, your website, franchisingconnection.com. And again, you could click on the assessment right there uh, and certainly uh, grab 15 minutes with Tom and won't even charge you for the visit. So Tom, thank you so much for joining us. This has been great. Thanks, Josh.